this video will show how to prime factor numbers. So what prime factors, we need to know what they are, is any number that has only one and itself as factors. It only has two factors, and they will always be one and itself. So the first prime number would be 2, then 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. They go on from there, but these are the first several. So when I want a prime factor, you've probably seen the factor trees. We'll start with the prime number that you know goes into 4. We know that to be 2. And then 2 times what gives me 4? Well, 2 times 2 is 4. And then this one would be prime factored. Everything at the end of my little lines is a prime number, so I know I'm done. All right, let's try 34. Now this is an even number, so I'm going to just start with 2. And then 2 goes into 3 once, left one left over, and then 2 goes into 14 seven times. And 17 happens to be a perfect or a prime number. 17 happens to be a prime number, so this one's done. All right, they're not always so easy. Let's try this one, 75. Hmm. Well, it's not even, but it is going to be divisible by 5 because of this last number being a 5. Remember, numbers ending in 5 or 0 can be divisible by 5. So we take 5, and 15 times 5 would be 75. And 15 is not a prime number, so I have to do it again. And it ends in 5, so I know that it's going to be divisible by that prime number 5. And 5 times 3 is 15. And 3 is one of my prime numbers up here. So I know that 5 times 5 times 3 is equal to 75. That's the prime factorization of 75. One more. So 160. Well, it's divisible by 2. It's divisible by 5. I usually start with the smallest number. I don't know why. I might go faster if I did a bigger number, but I always use the smallest number for some reason. So 2 goes into 16 8 times, and then I have a 0 left over, so it would be 80. Again, I could say that it's divisible by 2. And if it's divisible by 2, then 40 times 2 is 80. And 40, again, is divisible by 2, and that would leave me with 20. And 20, again, is divisible by 2, and that's going to leave me with 2 times 10. And then 10 is also divisible by 2, and it's 2 times 5. And now everything I have is a prime number, because 5 is a prime number. So if I wanted to write my prime factors out, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 2s. Times 2, times 2, times 2, times, two, times one more 2, times 5 and that would be 160. So even if I had started with the 5, I would have still had to end up with all these 2's eventually. So it all works out.